In this video, we will continue with coordinate geometry. You will find this on page 1 to 7 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Two points have coordinates a, 5 and 7, b, 9 and negative 1. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisectors of a, b. Okay, stop just there. Now, sometimes, although you may not use it as an explanation, but let me repeat, sometimes it helps you to just make a rough sketch. So I'm just going to have a grid, especially if there's not a sketch. So let's just get my grid. Now I'm going to just draw the lines. Um, let's just see 9 and negative 1, 5 and 7. Hope it's going to fit. Okay, so I will say for example 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <clears throat> that is point A. Point B is 9, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it's negative 1. And that is point B. So I think if you make, rather make a sketch that's a little bit more on scale, then it will help you. <clears throat> but remember, you may not use it in an explanation. It's just to help you. So if I was drawing a line through that point, let's keep it red, it doesn't matter. Now, what the question asks, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. That means I must find the point in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to find um, the point in the middle, and you can now, and perpendicular. I just check it now here to help me a little bit. It was 7 and 3. But it's the point in the middle, and it's going to be 90 degrees. And just make sure that you do it 90 degrees. Say, for example, like this. I will now see if it's correct. Otherwise, I'll correct it. So they want to find this middle point here. So I need that. I can work out this gradient, but I, I'm looking for this per because this is called the perpendicular bisector. Bisector it means that it must go in the middle and it must make a 90 degree. Okay, just keep that picture in your mind. So first find the gradient. Uh, and the midpoint. So find the gradient of this one and the middle point. Now first the gradient, but remember it's the gradient of AB, so it's the red one. So I was finding, with my formula, I got it negative 2. But remember, I want the gradient of the perpendicular one, and that's why I was swapping it around and I changed the sign. So the gradient of the blue one will just be positive or oh. Okay, and now I find the midpoint. Now, how do I do? I take the x values. It's maybe good that I write it in here. So this was 5, and it was 7, and this one was 9 and negative 1. So then I take the x values, I add it up, I divide by 2. I take the y values, I add it up, I divide by 2. And that's how I came to that point, which was 7 and 3. Okay. And now, I'm basically just going to substitute the gradient, substitute the midpoint, and there will be my equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now I go on. I say, the line through C, 1 and 2, okay, 1 and 2, the line through C, now let's just see, it's 1 and 2, let's make it another color. This is now C. And this is 1 and 2, okay, parallel to AB. Oh, so this is going to be parallel to AB. So basically, um, let's just parallel to A, meets the perpendicular at the point X. Now, okay, it's, I'm just maybe not going to do it now. Oh, definitely not without a ruler. Uh, 
And now there's a way where you can draw a line. I'm just testing it. And then I think you can pick it up. Oh, yes, it's working. Oh, excellent. Because it's going to be parallel. So just keep this in mind. So they say, uh, um, let's the, um, the line first C parallel to AB meets the perpendicular bisector of AB, that's the blue line at X. Okay, but I must find that point X. So, find the equation of the, per uh, meets the point at X. Find by calculating the distance BX. Okay, but first, now I'm going to start. Parallel lines, the gradients are equal. So, if this one is negative 2, then I know that this one will also be negative 2. And through the point C, it's going through 1 and 2. So, I, okay, let's first find this green. Do you see the green equation? So, I just substitute the point and I substitute the gradient and this. So, this is now my green line. Let's just underline it in green. Okay. Now, I have this equation and I can write it down. I think I'm going to write it down for you. Uh, so, what is this equation? It's y equals negative 2x plus and I have this equation. This equation is y equals a, a half x minus a half. And now I'm going to find, I must first find the point x. But don't do it on a sketch. You have to do it on, with algebra, with calculations. So solve these two equations, the blue and the, the green, simultaneously. Then you get x is 9 over 5. Okay, can you see it's not exactly crossing there on the dot? Okay, and x uh, and it's 2 over 5. It's going to be a fraction, so it's not cutting on that line. Okay, and now I must find the distance. So if I then find the distance, I have the difference in x squared plus the difference in y squared, and I'm getting my answer. So be careful. I just want to see this was, was 1 and 4 over 5. And this was 2 over 5. So it's, it's actually a little bit higher there. So this one was 1 and 4 over 5. So it was almost, it's cutting around there. And it's a little bit higher. So don't just make a sketch. Oh, this is easy. It's cutting there. You have to do it with algebra. But the sketch can just help you to keep track with all the different information. That's how you do it. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. The point C lies on the perpendicular bisector of the line joining A and B. Okay, C also lies on the line parallel to this. Oh, it's again a lot of information given to you. Okay, I can make a sketch to help me, but I think let's just start by finding that perpendicular bisector. Okay, so I have A, this is number one, write down your information. I have A, and that's four and six. And I have B, and what is that? It's ten and two. Okay, now I'm first going to find the equation because that's the first thing I see, equation of perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay, so the points on, on the perpend the point C lies on that perpendicular bisector, and that's why I first find that. Okay, so I must do two things. I must first find the gradient. Oh, come on, pin. Get it correct. I must find the gradient of A B. But this remember x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient is the difference in y, so 2 minus 6, over the difference in x. So if I start here, I start, it's 10 minus 4. 
So this is negative 4, and this is going to be 6. This is negative 2 over 3. But it's perpendicular, so you can even do it like this. This is also a nice way to show. So the perpendicular one will be equal to 3 over 2. You change the sign. Now, I must also find the midpoint. Remember the formula? Uh, the, let's say the midpoint of AB. It's better to, to just name it. The midpoint of AB, it's going to be 4 plus 10 divided 2 and 6 plus 2 divided 2. So this is going to be 14, so it's going to be 7, 6, 7, 8, 8, and it's 4. Okay. So this is going to be 7 and 4. Okay, that's going to be the midpoint. And now I can find the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so the perpendicular bisector, let's just make it there for... Perpendicular bisector. And now I'm just going to make y minus y1, usual formula, and then the gradient, and x minus x1. Okay, so it's y minus, okay, don't forget that this is x1, y1. And this is my gradient. Okay. So this is going to be y minus 4 is equal to, and then it's 3 over 2, and it's x minus 7. So it's going to be y minus 4 equals 3 over 2x minus, this is going to be 21, 7 times 3, 21 over 2. Okay, let's just move this. So it's going to be y is, mm, let's get my pen correct. y is equal to 3 over 2x minus, now this, don't forget, this is going to be negative 10 and a half plus 4. And if I simplify that, I'm just going to find that this perpendicular bisector, let's just move it up, is going to be, so therefore, y is going to be 3 over 2x minus 6 and a half. And that is going to be your final answer there. Okay. Now let's go on in the question. That was just the perpendicular bisector. So what was the question? Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of, so this was question A. Now, calculate the coordinate of C. So let's go back again. The point C lies on the perpendicular bisector of the line joining this. C also lies on the line parallel to AB through 3. Okay, so parallel to AB through. So I must first find that line also. So... Let's just go up. Let's make it B. So, line parallel to AB through that one. Right, so, let's just go. Line parallel to AB through Okay, now parallel to AB, okay, let, can you remember, I'll just move it a little bit down, that was perpendicular to the gradient, but parallel to AB was negative 2 over 3. So I'm just going to, so the gradient, can I just include, the gradient is negative 2 over 3. This is X1, this is A1, that, that is my point, because they just give me that point. Can I just show you here? 
they just calculate, calculate the coordinate of C. Because C just lies, it's actually the point of intersection. So if I'm going to start, I'm going to say Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. So it's going to be Y minus 11 equals negative 2 over 3 X minus 3. So y minus, oh, let's just get the pink correct. y minus 11, negative 2 over 3x, plus, put it over 1, then the 3, so it's going to be plus 2. Can you see that? Because the 3 cancel out. So it's going to be y is equal to negative 2 over 3x, and that 11, so it's going to be plus 13. Okay, but now the point C is where this white line intersects the green line. So therefore, point of intersection. So the point of intersection is C. So I'm going to take this equation and this equation and solve them simultaneously. So I'm basically, so I substitute this one into this one. If you want, you can make one, you can make two. You can say substitute equation one into equation two. Okay, or solve it simultaneously. But at the end, okay, I just want to get my, so it's going to be, let's see, oh, the, oh, I want to take a color that none, none of them are using. So 3 over 2x minus 6 and a half is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 13. Now the best way is, oh, I can just bring it to one side. So it's going to be 3 over 2x plus 2 over 3 X. I'm just going to work with the fractions. So it's 13 plus 6 and a half. Now, if you're going to work with the fractions, so it's 1 and a half um, plus 2 over 3. So 3 ABC 2 plus 2 ABC 3 equals, and that's 2 and 1 over 6X. And then if you say this is 16, 17, 19 and a half. And not always necessary to get rid of fractions. But if you have a calculator and you can use it, then just use it. And then you're going to say 19 ABC, or you can say 19.5 also, okay? Um, 1 ABC 2 divide 2 ABC 1 ABC 6 equals, wow, it's so nice if you get, therefore, X is equal to 9. And if x is equal to 9, I can basically just substitute. As, oh, let's just get the pin correct. Substitute x is equal to 9 into equation 1 or 2, doesn't matter. So y is equal to negative 2 over 3. In the place of x, I put a 9. Plus 13, and that is going to be, so if I'm going to say that negative 2 ABC 3, but you can see what's happening with the 9, it's going to, 3, so it's going to be negative 6, because you put this, then it's 3, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus that 13, and that's going to be equal to 0. Don't forget to end nice, so say, therefore, C, and what is C? First your X, 9, and then your Y, 7. And that will be your final. The thing of coordinate geometry, the sums is usually very long. So as I said, mark your information nice, have order, and then you can look up and use some of the information that you already worked out.